So, Dr. Doolittle, or just Doolittle, I guess. It's yeah. not Dr. Doolittle, it's just Doolittle. Uh, we got our Iron Man, uh, or Robert Downey Jr., Tony Stark, same, same thing. Um, I knew that this was coming, but I don't know how close it is to like the original Dr. Doolittle, or if they're just going to completely throw that out the window and do their own thing. I have no comments. So. No comments at all. Um, all right. I think it's a little too soon to see Robert Downey Jr. in something else. <laughs> you're like, you need to just stop acting. You, yeah, like, you're he not needs allowed to, to he act. He needs to stop for, uh, again, my rule of thumb, I guess, is five years. He needs to be gone for five, five years. Five years? Yeah. Oh, because, uh, I'm serious because all I'm going to see is like a, it's not going to be a, a drunk technological fucking shield around the planet Iron Man kind of guy. It's going to be like the, I'm going to see Iron Man, but it's going to be uh, Eddie Murphy, Dr. Doolittle in did, Iron did, Man. Did you see that when he was uh, doing Sherlock Holmes? No. I didn't watch Sherlock Holmes is why. Oh, okay. Well, let's watch this and see if you still get that vibe. Three, two, one, play. I see trees of green. That's pretty. Very vibrant. Roses too. Love this song. I see them bloom for me and you. And I think to myself. Are you Dr. Doolittle? Yep, it's okay. We've no choice but to embark on this perilous journey. Everyone pack your bags! <laughs> you can talk to animals. Babies <laughs> cry. Watch them grow. Visuals look great. It's okay to be scared now, and I think to myself. Hello, Barry. Hello, lunch. <laughs> Somehow, we just belong together. Yes, I think to myself. Tom Holland and Robert oh. Downey. Oh. He's just voicing like a gorilla or something. Leave him alone. Okay. No, there's no um, way they have Tom Holland on a gorilla. He's going to be like a ferret. No. <laughs> I know. He's going to be something ridiculous. I was trying to give him. That was Peter Pan and Pirates of the Caribbean mixed right there. Yes. <laughs> that's what it was. Okay. Um, I like I like hook. that he didn't. Like I like that he him. didn't sound like him. Yeah. Like he changed his voice for the Agreed. role, which, does, that made, which does help. That helps um, tremendously. Yes. Yeah, I do see some of the mannerisms of a little bit more Sherlock Holmes than Iron Man. Agreed. Um, so I think he, I, I think he's aware of it. I mean, he's he has played Iron Man for eleven years, so um, this is going to be kind of moving away from that, and he wants to make sure that he's he's probably doing something that's not going to be similar to to other characters. Um, what time frame is this? It was pretty vibrant with his color, so you didn't get that, uh, get, like, yeah. a good time frame on it. Because normally, if you go back into, you know, the 16th, 1700s, everything's brown and stuff like that. Yeah. And they try to depict it that way. Honestly, though, there was, like... I love the colors. It was almost like a Persian it feel mm -hmm. to it. Mm -hmm. Um... A little bit of Aladdin when you saw the castle. Yep. Um, yep. and uh, a little bit of... The Jungle Book uh, with the tiger. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Got that too. Mm -hmm. okay. So it's a good mix of everything on there. For our first trailer, I Not bad. I was I'm so I'm happy that they didn't like he actually didn't talk that much in this trailer, mm -hmm. which I'm happy about because you just got to enjoy the visual effects of it because right. like you said, very vibrant. Um, the the animals look great. Um, 
Uh, I mean, I think that Animals they focused on that. talking is always a little off, though. So. A little off, but not, I mean, it's better than, you know, Salem in the original Sabrina the Teenage Witch, which was just horrible. Um, but, yeah. <laughs> Um, but no, I think that that definitely was a great first trailer. Uh, I would say it was... Brando, I don't, I don't know what's going on. I would say it's a good first trailer. Um, it gives you the gist of what the movie's gonna feel and look like. Mm -hmm. and it's a good family movie right off the bat, but I'd like to learn a little bit more about what's happening, because it does look like he's kind of got his life and he's peaceful, etc., so what drags yeah. him out to go do this? Is he saving an animal? Is he doing it for a friend or family member? I don't know where well, this that little girl up. looks like she comes and finds him to to probably save save uh, save her parents or something like that. Animals or yeah. something. Could be. Maybe her maybe her pet tiger was taken away. <laughs> Is it Jasmine when she's a yeah. kid? <laughs> <laughs> oh, but I I liked it. I I, I enjoyed it. 